welcome to Raz Reviews. Today, I'm going to be reviewing <gasps> Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. <sighs> That's a mouthful. Did, did I say that right? Did I say it right? I did! So Birds of Prey is a movie that's part of the DCEU, mostly part of the Suicide Squad universe. And it's directed by Kathy Ann and it follows the story of Harley Quinn right after the events of Suicide Squad. And she has now broken up with the Joker, Jared Leto's Joker. Poor guy. <laughs> I really feel bad for Jared Leto who they had to sort of squeeze out of these movies because his Joker was really unpopular. It's really unfair. Because I don't think he necessarily did a bad job. I just think that the movie didn't serve what he did well. So anyway, the movie follows her story after her breakup with him and what she has to go through. And in the process, she happens to come across a bunch of remarkable, fantabulous women. And together they form this really cool team. I wasn't honestly looking forward to this movie at all because I felt like it's a movie that was made as a decision by a bunch of old men in suits in a boardroom who are trying to find what's the cool thing to do that people are gonna like. And when Suicide Squad came out and it bombed, people didn't like it. But people liked Harley Quinn in it a lot. So they were like, oh, the kids like Harley Quinn, so let's make a Harley Quinn movie. So honestly, I felt like this was gonna be a cash grab, so I wasn't really excited about it. But I was actually very pleasantly surprised with Birds of Prey. I really enjoyed it. It's not a perfect film. It's not amazing. But it was actually a lot of fun. It's a blast. I really enjoyed Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. She's just perfect for the role. She embodies this character really, really well. And it's like she was born to do it. Margot Robbie to Harley Quinn is what Ryan Reynolds is to Deadpool. These people were born to play these parts and they just embody the soul of the character so freaking well. So I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed her in Suicide Squad and I enjoyed her in this. I really like what Kathy Ann did with this movie. She really put her style and her touch on it. She made it very unique. It's very stylish and very funky. Um, she plays a lot with the structure, which keeps the first half of the film really enjoyable and really interesting, when it would have been a little too boring and too much setup for these characters. Visually also, the movie is stylistic and unique and it has its own flavor. And it's a flavor that I actually enjoyed. But the thing about it that's really, really cool that I loved was the action scenes and the fight sequences and the fight choreography in general. This movie does action scenes in a very cool, creative way, in a very Harlequin kind of way. And I actually really appreciated that. And I enjoyed that because at this point, we see so many fight scenes and so many action scenes, especially in superhero movies and villain movies and whatever, that we're kind of numb to it at this point. She even sprinkles a really cool soundtrack on top that gives this movie a really nice identity and a really nice flavor. The movie could have been really weird. It is a little bit absurd sometimes, but it works for it. Like a crazy, the Harlequin clown thing. I like the rest of the cast as well. I like the Birds of Prey. I especially was a fan of Black Canary, that lady looks like she can kick everybody's ass and I thought that was really cool. And that's the thing about those fight scenes again is that these women kick ass in a really cool, believable way. It's not that, oh my God, girl power hair flip. It was actually beating people up, like pounding them. And that's also another thing that made this really cool. This is actually a hard R, so there's a lot of violence and a lot of blood and uh, it's very gory. Don't take your kids, this is not for kids at all. This is not for children. I also like Ewan McGregor with Black Mask. I feel like he had such fun playing this character. He really went all out. He went over the top and I thought it was really cool and I really liked watching Ewan McGregor just completely let it all out and go way over the top. It was fun and funny. It's really nice to see a group of girls fight together and kick ass and go through some stuff that really made sense. There are some moments in there that are very relatable. I didn't feel like this film was shoving some sort of crazy feminist agenda down my throat like some movies recently have been doing. It felt genuine, like a genuine celebration of a group of women who meet and connect through shared experiences and shared traumas and shared problems and they find a common ground for all of them. And I thought that was a very strong aspect of the film. And man, they really kick ass. Huntress kicks ass and she's really cool in this film. Harley Quinn's fight sequences are so crazy and fun to watch. I mean, she, she's, she's like, she's going nuts on roller skates. Roller skates! It's crazy! However, the movie falters when it comes to the story. The story is not very powerful. The plot is a little thin. There isn't really a lot going on. It's not very complex. And even emotionally, not all the emotional beats really hit. So I felt like in terms of a story, Mm, it leaves a little bit to be desired. It, the more focus is on setting up the characters and setting up the meeting of these people and on the fight sequences and the fun stuff. But in terms of actual story and characters and plot, 
there isn't really much. As a team, they worked really well together and they were a lot of fun to watch, but I just wish we got to see a little bit more than that. I felt like that was the main objective and what we should have gotten out of this movie. It's not. It focuses a lot more on Harley Quinn than it does on Birds of Prey. Not that the Harley Quinn parts weren't good. They were. I enjoyed them. But I wanted a little bit more Birds of Prey personally. At the end of the day, what you're going to hear a lot about Birds of Prey is that it's a fun movie. It's not to be taken very seriously. The movie doesn't take itself very seriously. And it just had a lot of fun with itself. And I had fun with it as well. I enjoyed it. I especially enjoyed the fight sequences. I really like the character of Harley Quinn. I'd like to see more of her. I like the Birds of Prey characters. I'd like to see more of them as well. So overall, I'm going to give Birds of Prey an 8 out of 10. So, have you seen Birds of Prey? Were you looking forward to it? Let me know in the comment section what you think. Give me a like and don't forget to share and subscribe. And let me know what you'd like me to review for you next. See ya!